If you want premium protection, you need to be willing to pay for premium antivirus software. That's why I've created this list of the best antivirus for Windows 10 and 11. To help make this video as comprehensive as possible, I've personally tested this list of antivirus software to see how it performs on Windows PCs. I've also leveraged trusted resources, like AV Test, to help affirm my results. Now, you might think you already know the top antivirus providers, but you might be surprised that our number two provider, which has traditionally been called the best, is destroyed by our number one. To find out why, you'll need to watch the video until the very end. Teasers aside, this video will rate antivirus software by AV Test results, system load, full system scan speed, features, value, and how easy it is to use. Each of these features will be given a score out of 5, meaning that an antivirus could potentially get 30 out of 30 points. We'll be filling out this table with the scores as we go along. And don't forget to use the special links provided in the description below to get up to 80% off on top antivirus providers. So, let's get started with our first stop, McAfee. McAfee is one of the most recognized antivirus platforms in the world. With this brand recognition, it's managed to stick around as a top antivirus system. Looking at AV test results, McAfee gets consistent top results, with its most recent scan catching 100% of known viruses and 99.2% of zero-day attack. Zero-day attacks are when a Trojan or malware is first released out into the world, so detection has to be more behavior-based to determine if a file exhibits virus-like behavior. So for AV test results, McAfee gets a five out of five. When you actually use the scanner, you'll find that it can take up to 70% of your system memory, often averaging around 50%. Despite this high load, the speed of the scan is more than two hours. The system load score is 2, while the speed score is 1, making it one of the slowest AVs you can buy. McAfee offers three basic plans, Essential, Advanced Individual, and Advanced Plus. These have introductory pricing of $40, $70, and $95 respectively, renewing at $120, $200, and $270. This makes it one of the more expensive AV systems we've reviewed. The Essentials plan includes a VPN, a browser extension that removes tracker, a password manager, and basic identity theft monitoring alongside the basic antivirus package with real-time protection. The AV is available for up to five devices. The Advanced Individual Plans offers identity theft protection for one adult of up to $1 million, matching the number two provider. It also includes some lost wallet protection, bank transaction monitoring, security free support to stop hackers from opening new accounts, and protection for unlimited devices. The Advanced Family Plan provides identity theft coverage for two family members and everything else but the extra thing you pay for is parental controls. You also get personal data cleanup that applies to multiple people, where it only applies to one person in the prior plan. On top of this, you can also pay extra for a PC optimizer, starting at $35 and renewing at $65. And finally, you can pay for personal tech support for a single incident for $70 and up to $210 for a year-long subscription. Thankfully, you get to try on these features with a free 30-day trial. Despite getting a lot of features, the value score here is only a 2 out of 5, while the feature score is a 4 out of 5. To better understand why the value score is so low, you'd need to watch until the end of the video. When we look at the Windows interface, McAfee is mostly simple. What you'll notice is that a lot of the most important features are hidden inside of different, unclear icons. Four boxes doesn't really give a lot away, giving McAfee a 3 out of 5. Based on our review, McAfee barely scrapes by with a 17 out of 30. Next up, Total AV. Despite not having the same brand recognition of other antivirus providers, Total AV is a trusted antivirus provider. It's owned by Protected.net, a company based out of the UK, and was founded in 2016. Since then, it's grown fast, being found in AV reviews like this one. Total AV's AV test results show them getting 100% of known viruses and 97% of zero-day attacks. This puts it at the average for known scans and slightly below for zero-day attacks. These measurements give it a solid score of 3 out of 5 for finding viruses. When measuring for system load, there were no signs of system slowdowns, but we saw fluctuations from 10 to 30% of PC usage during a full system scan. This gives it a 4 out of 5 on our ratings. 
The speed of the software was average at 28 minutes and 12 seconds in that scan, giving it a 3 out of 5. Total AV has what you might expect from your AV software. This includes real-time protection, full system and registry scans, ransomware protection, and ad blocking. You even get a system cleaner. These features come with Total AV's cheap plans, starting at just under $30 for three devices. More advanced features include an unlimited VPN, but dedicated VPNs tend to be better which you can learn more about in this video comparing the top VPNs. Still, Total AV's integrated VPN costs an extra $10, which is inexpensive. You can also pay another $10 on top of that for a password manager. You can also get a free eight day trial. So what about the renewals? You can expect renewal price increases across the board of nearly $100. This pricing isn't as much as our number two AV, but still this cost feels high when you only get support for around three to six devices. So for features and value, we're giving them a rating of three and two respectively. Total AV's star attraction is its simple interface. All of its features are available on a single page across different tabs. If you want to run a quick AV scan, boost your performance, and check your startup programs, you can do that by clicking Smart Scan. So thanks to it avoiding unnecessary complexities, we're giving it a 5 out of 5 on the ease of use scale. Based on our findings, Total AV scores a solid 20 out of 30 which makes it a solid AV. Total AV is underrated, but it still doesn't hold a candle to the number one Windows AV provider on this list. But first, let's look at Avast. Avast was previously known as a B-lister antivirus, but lately it's been showing off its good side. This can be shown in its AV test results, capturing 99.2% of zero-day viruses and 100% of known ad. Because of this, it starts with a solid 5 out of 5. During testing, I found that Avast also had incredible system load results, taking only up to 30%. It also only took about 19 minutes for a full virus scan, earning it a 5 on both marks. Naturally, this brings us to the features, and Avast is the only AV on this list offering a free antivirus. This AV has an advanced firewall, an email flagging tool, and a simple real-time scanner antivirus. For advanced features, you'll unfortunately need to pay. Avast 1, its entry-level premium plan, costs $2.89 per month. It includes an unlimited VPN, a password tracking system, a tracking blocker, and a simple performance optimization tool. This feature renews at $8.33 per month and covers five devices. A vast one platinum offers identity theft alerts, $2 million in identity theft reimbursement, and credit report monitoring for the three major bureaus. You also get coverage for up to 30 devices. This starts at $9.99 monthly and renews at a whopping cost of $25 a month. You can get up to a 60-day trial base, which is offered while using the Avast tool. All of this sounds amazing on paper, but the problem is that it lacks a password manager. It tracks password leaks, but nothing else. It also lacks dark web monitoring features. This makes it weaker than other AVs in some very important areas. So for features, it gets a two out of five. In addition, it's much more expensive than other providers, giving it a one out of five on value. Avast, like many of these AVs, also has a decent interface. The problem being that it has a built-in app store and advertises its products to you. This is a big no-no for me when comparing antiviruses, giving it a two out of five on ease of use. You let us know in the comments though, are you willing to put up with advertisements for a premium AV? Let us know and we'll talk about it in the next stop, ESET. ESET is an interesting case. Like McAfee, its origins can be traced back to the 80s. But unlike McAfee, ESET's owner also isn't known for being an absolute nutter like McAfee's original owner. Regarding AV tests, ESET stands at the top, catching 100% of known threats and just about 98% of zero day threats. This gives it a solid four out of five. When it comes to system load and scan speed, it has a better system load than total AV, but a much slower a scanning time, earning it a 5 and a 1 respectively. At about an hour for a full system scan, ESET follows the roast approach to antivirus software, low and slow. They're incredible roasting. <clears throat> ESET has real-time protection, full system scanning, threat detection powered by Intel, and ransomware protection. 
But one of its most unique features is network protection, including HIPS protection and a WMI scanner, which helps you identify and kick out unwanted people from your local network. These features are available with its cheaper plan, starting at around $40. The premium plan costs an extra $20 and comes with a password manager and a file encryption system, which can prevent hackers from accessing usable data from your files. The ultimate plan is for privacy-focused individuals who want protection against unwanted data access. You get an unlimited VPN and dark web monitoring. Unfortunately, ESET's identity theft protection has no insurance, which is common among premium AV providers. The ultimate plan also takes a massive jump, costing from $200 to $400. In ESET's cases, renewal pricing is higher, but doesn't jump like Total AV. You pay a bit more with ESET Home in cases where you need protection for up to 10 devices, but ESET Home provides more flexibility, giving it a four out of five on features and a three out of five on pricing. The ESET Home platform is pretty simple. The overview page provides a comprehensive look at where you're protected. There are specific tabs for scanning, updating, and other tools. Meanwhile, the setup holds everything else. It's not as simple as Total AV, but still simple enough to make navigation seamless, earning it a four out of five. So based on our findings, it gets a total of 21 out of 30. Next, if you've heard of antivirus software, you've probably heard of Norton. And at number two, it's clearly good, but is it worth your money? Let's find out. As you might expect, Norton receives top scores, handling 100% of zero day attacks and 100% known virus attacks. What else would you expect from someone with a legendary reputation like Norton? Except you know that the number one provider has the exact same stats. It takes about 33 minutes for a full system scan in our setting, taking up 65% of system resources. This gives it four out of five on speed and one out of five on system load. You can't do anything intensive with Norton scanning your PC. Getting to features, the basic platform starts at $20 and renews at $60 for protection for one device. This protection includes two gigabyte of cloud backup, a browser-based site blocker, and a password manager, but you can only use these features on one device. Norton 360 is where you start getting features for privacy, including a VPN and dark web monitoring. You also get protection for up to three devices, costing $40 and renewing at $120 after the first year. The deluxe version of Norton 360 includes parental controls, camera protection, and a privacy monitor. This includes all prior features and costs $129 at renewal, starting at $50. Arguably, the best plan includes identity theft protection. Norton 360 with LifeLock Select starts at $100 and renews at $180. It covers 10 devices, increases your backup to 250 gigabytes, and provides $1 million in identity theft protection coverage, which is critical if your social security number or other information gets stolen. Norton also offers optional tools. It has a deep clean tool for your PC for $40, which renews at $70 but there is some basic functionality with the free version. You can also pay extra for tools like Norton Driver Updater for $50, which also isn't worth it in our case. Other variations like Norton for gamers make it confusing for shoppers. With these add-ons, Norton is very expensive. Still, Norton puts out a helpful product, putting value at two and features at a four each. Also, the interface is about as simple as Total AV, but the need for multiple programs drops ease of use to a four out of five, which is still pretty fantastic. This brings Norton to a total of 22. Both Norton and ESET follow similar situations where they're both old, but have managed to overcome their age. So why do you think other providers like McAfee have failed to do the same? Let us know in the comments. For now, our top contender, Bitdefender. Bitdefender is the number one antivirus for Windows 10 and 11. Why is that? Let's talk about it. Like Norton, Bitdefender receives top marks according to AV test, capturing nearly 100% of zero day and known viruses. This works well with the above average speed test of 20 and a half minutes, but also an average system load of 20 to 35%. So scores are a five, five and four respectively. Bitdefender also has a wide range of features. Under its ultimate package, it covers 10 devices, 
offers real-time protection, has system optimization software, an unlimited VPN, and identity theft protection software that's insured for $2 million, doubling what you get from Norton's comparable pricing. This costs $90 at first, but renews at $180 per year, and you can remove the identity theft protection for $80, renewing at $160. The total security package still covers up to 10 devices and doesn't include the optimization software, costing around $70 and renewing at $100 or $110 between five to 10 devices. Its entry level package is a lot weaker, but offers pricing flexibility of $30 to $80 from one to 10 devices. But if you want firewall protection, you'll need to look at alternative packages. Unlike Norton, you won't see price jumps from add-ons. Because of this, its features are worth a five out of five, and its value is a four out of five. While it's still expensive, you get more than what's offered from Norton, even when you pay less. Bitdefender is also very easy to use. What makes it easier than most is the ability to customize the dashboard. This is a breath of fresh air for those who are forced to view dashboards, where 90% of everything is blocked behind a paywall. So Bitdefender gets a five out of five. It's clear that Bitdefender is the number one antivirus provider because it's quick, has a low system load, and a huge number of features, alongside better identity theft protection than any other AV for Windows. And you can get up to 65% off with our special link because you deserve the best protection. That wraps up our video. Check out more relevant videos from our channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.